Sprite Cutter is a tool for easily generating .atlas text resources. Sometimes you're working on a prototype or something with downloaded assets and maybe you want to create uh, frames for an anim animated sprite and you may have something like this that can be easily cut or you may have sometimes something like this where it doesn't really make sense to divide it equally and vertically and horizontally. So in this case, if you don't have any Atlas importer, if you don't know if it was created using Texture Packer or Shoebox or whatever, uh, you may want to cut them manually, but you cannot manually cut them to use an animation frame. So there's a way to do it, and it is created creating an Atlas, uh, sorry, an Atlas sprite. So to make this easier, I created this little tool that we will see now. So basically, once we have the tool installed, what we can do is create a new scene using, sorry, forgot to enable it. Okay, so now we can create a new scene using Atlas scene as a root node. Once we have that, we can add our Atlas as a sprite. And we can set region to on and then maybe using snap auto slice or if it works or by manually selecting them so we can select the frames that we care about for example let's say this one okay so we have this one and it can be like fly zero and then maybe I want also this one and it can be fly one and they can be in any position and this one could be fly two So, let me clean this up just a tiny bit. Okay, so we have those three animation frames. So, and, and these, are, as long as they are child of, uh, as long as they are children of Atlas scene, you can have as many sprites as you want, and they can use uh, different textures. It doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. The only thing that matters is, is that you set a name for each node because this will become the file name and that you set the region uh, so that it contains the texture that you want to export. So once we have that done, we go to project tools. Oh, sorry. We have to set a destination path where we want our textures to be. So for example, in my case, it could be something like tech, text, uh, text, bird, something like this. And if it doesn't exist, you can just type here. And if it doesn't exist, it will create all the fol folders that are needed so that the export can happen properly. So it doesn't really matter if this is an existing folder or not. So, okay, we have the destination path. We have our sprites. So we do project tools, sprite cutter, export, atlas textures. So we click and then we have our Atlas textures. So we can go back to our animated sprite and we can use them 
for our animation. Okay. And if we want, we can save this. Like this can be something like Where textures, or it can be some f in some folder that's not exported along with the project because we don't really need this for the game. But if we have them like that, maybe if if we then change the texture, or maybe we need to correct something. For example, I don't know, like this one. Maybe it should be a bit smaller or larger or whatever. So we do some well, little corrections or whatever we want, and or we add a new one. We can just run it again, and it will overwrite whatever is already there. So, just like that, you can have as many as as many as you want, and create as many textures as you want, rather than having to manually create an atlas text resources, manually set the atlas, and manually set the region here. So. It, you do it once in a scene, it's it's in a nice uh, organized way, and you get your sprites. So I hope someone finds it useful.